Mrs. Claus, this one's for you. Tell me, sweet mama, what's a guy to do? I'm tired of pretending it's just who I am. Come on, Mrs. Claus, let me be your man. because people actually are starting to suffer more about this but I've seen so much about you know winter depression and like very negative and sad feelings around the changing seasons and and the fact that it gets darker and colder and I grew up in a culture where this season was appreciated so much don't get me wrong it was dreaded for sure when it eventually rolled around it was always the centerpiece of our Hugo culture. It was always the most romantic and cozy time. And I'm on the mission to make that for myself as well here as well. So this week, it's supposed to be cold and it's supposed to snow as you saw this morning. And we are gonna make the best out of it. I was out buying some cured this morning, which is in season right now, in the winter season here in Korea. And I'm not really sure if they translate into tangerine or mandarin, but Jake absolutely loves them. And here the other day I went to the department store and I found cloves. I had no idea they were called that in English, but they bring back so many Christmas memories. Oh. For me, aroma is something that plays a huge part in having a fantastic Christmas time and really enjoying this season of darkness. I always like to bring in scented candles around this season or this kind of thing, like a scented <laughs> special Christmas scent that you bring out into the room or incense. a Christmas tree on coupon. <laughs> Although I actually personally really love winter and I love the dark seasons and I have a I have an easy time overcoming this defeating feeling that you get when the dark months roll around. One thing that does make me very I would say sad sometimes is Christmas season because here in Korea, obviously, Christmas in Denmark is all about family and such. And here in Korea, it's just not really a tradition. It's something that was adopted very, very late. Well, very recently, to be honest. And it's much more of a cliche interpretation and a date day. So on Christmas Eve, Korean people will go on a date with their partner. Which is cute, but obviously, my kind of Christmas was created because of tradition and tradition is very important to me so I'm trying my best as much as possible to recreate these traditions here at home it's so important for me to make my home comfortable warm and soft these are all aspects that goes into hiku culture as well some other ways in which you can make your home feel really really comfortable if you ask me is to of course, one stuck up on candles. That's so important to me. Um, it literally changes the mood so much. Switch your lights off and go with the orange lights instead of the white ones. These also warms up the space perfectly. Get some plants inside, get greenery inside. This is the time for all things pine, all things all year round green that will give this house both a nice smell but also give some nature into your home. Last thing that I really recommend you to do is to have some seasonal items in your home. I'm not telling you to change your sofa, maybe just 
change your pillowcases. My mom used to do that a lot. She used to have different color pillowcases for each season and it was fantastic. Spring was light yellow, autumn was dusty orange and summer was a purple and winter was a red. It was fantastic. Oh, these are oh, so yeah. good. Right? So we have cooked oh homemade know. pasta and oh, there's nothing like good home Better cooked than meal. The home cooked meal, right? We were just looking at each other being like, you know, home cooked meal is the best, but then we were like admitting many of we, we don't really cook much. We don't cook, it's like it's the best. I, we wish we cooked yeah. more. Back home, there's really nothing like a good mall in Christmas time, but here it's not really Christmas vibe. They haven't really like decorated or anything. Oh my god, these look so comfortable. I swear, like, Muji is the place to go in the Christmas time. Just in general, when it gets cold, I always got like my really, really warm blankets here. Look at these pajamas. It's so soft, it's crazy. I just want to like jump into this basket. It's like a basket of fluff. Mm. We're heading down to Uniqlo right now. Uniqlo has like these heat techs, like leggings and shirts you can put underneath your clothes that keeps you so warm. And it's like the must thing to have in the winter time here in Korea. So yeah, we're gonna pick up something. had to I think um, but all of it was very necessary I feel like to survive this winter it's been so cold like ugh, today as well minus seven I think it was first things first I have kind of ruined most of my sweatpants so I went to the men's section of Giordano because the only place that actually has like proper long length that fits my legs somewhat is the men's section so for Christmas and also for the gifts for Busan I need to have some wrapping paper and it's Christmas themed so it's very cute then in Uniqlo I got these wool shorts as well and I think um, this is a nice purchase both as like underneath skirts because as we all know I love wearing skirts and I always wear under shorts underneath but this is wool so it's actually gonna be warmer you know protecting the girl down there 
um, and also just to wear at home for comfy. If you don't like wearing a long padding in Korea, which I mean, it's very convenient, but it's not the most charming piece of clothing ever, <laughs> then I think some heat tech is a must have for you. Also just if you like, just. I mean, it's not fun freezing, that takes away the whole coziness of it all, so I got heat tech. Both a shirt and some leggings. And then I got two pair of socks. Well, one is like a proper pair of socks. And then I also bought a pair for Jake. This is like... It's kind of like sewn like a shoe, but it's not. And it's like this synthetic, insanely warm and fuzzy and soft material. <laughs> it feels so good oh my god okay i'm really excited to just like live in these sock shoes at home oh they're so nice because they're also not tight on the feet they're just seriously a little piece of cloud oh, so comfy um going in the same theme i decided to pick up a blanket like, come on, this is so nice. And just like the socks here, it's synthetic, so it literally blocks out anything. You cannot breathe underneath it, which breathing isn't necessary when you want to stay warm. <laughs> I think that's all. It's so nice. I'm mm. feeling it. I've noticed clear patterns in my ability to tap into this space of comfort and warmth and not all days are the same. 9 out of 10 it's induced by a good start of the morning aka meditation. I mentioned in my last video that I've previously been unable to kind of stick with meditation but over the past couple of weeks I've actually been able to stick to meditation every single morning from a perspective of actual interest and fun rather than logical needs. And this is definitely thanks to Aura, which is also sponsoring this section of the video. Aura is loved and used by over 7 million users and for a good reason. It's an all-in-one app for your well-being and has thousands of meditations, stories, hypnosis, breathwork and much more. I've been doing the intro to chakra meditations each morning over the past week, working from the crown chakra down to the root chakra for a grounded start of the day and I absolutely love it. Aura is not just a library with meditations and stories, it also has a great community with both spiritual teachers, life coaches as well, and also therapists from anywhere from self-help to spirituality. I personally love tuning into the live streams that there are once in a while and listening to what some of the very wise people have to say there. Aura delivers a unique service to you based on a questionnaire you fill out upon downloading and I can't recommend it enough. As I said, Aura makes it fun and intuitive for me to actually practice mindfulness every single day and I find myself gravitating towards Aura rather than mindlessly scrolling when I have moments of rest. When you click the link below in the description box you get a free trial as well as 25% off but this deal only applies to the first 500 people so be sure that you check out the link below. Thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video, now let's get on with the day. We are at the airport right now because we're heading to Busan for a little Christmas shenanigans with the girls. <sighs> Guys, this morning we woke up and it was dark outside. There's something very like oddly familiar and homey about that feeling and it just made me very comfortable because <laughs> like that's what I used to wake up to every morning in Denmark in the winter half of the year. So it felt good. Yeah, 
Jake, he's laughing because I'm trying to make cool transitions for you guys and he's ruining it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. This apartment is is insane. Like this is crazy. This I have never seen this in Korea. I knew it existed and Busan probably has some of the best apartments with great view. Last year we all gathered at Misong's house when Silu was still here and we had a little Christmas party, we had like a Christmas dinner, we decorated the Christmas tree together and we played um, Danish Christmas gift games. And so we're gonna do the exact same thing this year, but Misong's um, family was so nice to lend us their apartment. Insane, like this is something else. But we're going for lunch now. What? You make me cringe! <laughs> oh god, this is something else. <laughs> hey, you're like bullying me! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Damn! Wow, wow! Drink up! We're at some kids' time, please. Oh my god, Jake. Jake, fine. That's what, yeah, that's what I do. Something? I don't know. Sorry. Thank you, my love. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. Ooh. I know it's supposed to be healthy, but. <laughs> wow. Let's prepare some mulled wine, because I mean that's a must. Cheap red wine. The cheaper the better, and not sweet, because you're gonna add a ton of sugar. Good oranges is very important. Yeah. Okay, so we're melting the sugar in the pan first, but it's kind of like a hit and miss because you really cannot burn the sugar, so it just needs to melt, and then we're gonna in with the red wine. Got Jake on the orange team. <laughs> How? Baby, I said slices. It's not slices. <laughs> you didn't. There's one slice. What about the rest of that? The bunch of slices. What is, what is that? You're gonna get the leftover. What? There's not supposed to be a leftover. I don't know. <laughs> um, so when all of the clumps of the sugar here has melted, yeah. you're gonna pour in a little bit of the wine. Eric. Whoa. Yeah. And you don't want the alcohol to evaporate. So this is the only bit where alcohol is allowed to evaporate. The okay. next part, we should not let it boil. Okay. Because you gotta keep the alcohol in it. Okay. Smells good. Smells like Christmas. <laughs> That's glück for you guys. Yeah, guys, it's something else. <laughs> Hi, he's so annoying. <laughs> I'm just trying to get ready and put on some glam makeup and a sleek hair updo. There's something about like having intimate event with your friends and doing things like getting dressed up, cooking together, celebrating together, just whether it's celebrating Christmas or celebrating whatever it is, like you can celebrate anything. But there's something about that that is just 
makes me happy. I don't have any other words to describe that, but in all of these <laughs> most comprehensive studies there are on life fulfillment, happiness, and general contentness, the common factor in all of those were good social relations. And I think it's a very healthy thing to practice having deep relationships with your friends. I feel very blessed for the friend groups that I have, and I feel like I can be myself and be challenged and have fun. While my mold wine is brewing, I'm gonna glam up. Hey, Mrs. Claus, this one's for you. Tell me, sweet mama, what's a guy to do? I'm tired of pretending it's just who I am. Come on, Mrs. Claus, let me be your man. Shave and wear a cap on my head By matching robes all shiny and red I'm begging you please I'll do all that I can Come on Mrs. Claus Let me be your man Oh! change my shirt because it kind of started to getting a little bit cold but I changed into the heat tech shirt that I bought the neckline is so pretty I'm really really shocked about how formal this shirt looks Good morning everyone. It is actually a kind of a warm day today which kind of defies the purpose of this video but nonetheless we're gonna make it a cozy day. We're heading off to have some lunch. I think we were gonna go for some fish and something like that. Very excited. I am starving. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grilled fish here is amazing. Good <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you Cause there's so many ways You know, like I know that this video is supposed to be like coziness in winter time and like learning how to appreciate that and appreciate when the weather isn't good and when it's dark and now I'm standing here and the sun is shining and the sky is kind of half blue and I'm standing by the ocean that seems very summery but I've really realized that after I've made a conscious effort to romanticize and love all seasons and especially the darker seasons the appreciation for when something like this happens when you are finding yourself in front of the water with sunshine I'm appreciating a lot more and I'm enjoying it a lot more because the changingness of things is what makes it magical. My mom used to say, she used to say, Cecil, no matter what I prefer, I wouldn't like it if I lived somewhere where there was only one season all the time, where there was sunshine all the time. Because the changingness is what makes it magical, right? If you keep waking up to a good view, then the view will start becoming not as magical as it was before. I'm taking in this moment and enjoying it. And also, I'll do the same when it's dark. Carve out our names, board a last minute plane, just us two. We can chase the sun as it sets in the mountains. 
This is like a little village. Like it looks like lots of outdoor homemade living rooms and then <laughs> this occasionally there is like an opener hanging because I think this is like a drinking spot. Oh, it's so cozy. So, so we, we will pay like 10,000 won to them because they don't provide food today. Right? Uh, but we will pay for the seats. And we will take yeah. it away. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you guys do that. yeah, this is life. This is so nice. Oh, oh. Deep in our hearts where it matters. We can stay there forever and after. Red and stars, right above where we are. I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you. But the. Like, well. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kwangali Beach, yeah. the diamond bridge. Oh, your skin looks beautiful. <laughs> Always on camera. It's actually called diamond. Now let's wait to see if the boys actually turn up. <laughs> yeah. See, that's that's the question. The question of the day. Thank you. 